Hello everyone, my name is and welcome to this uh, 2D, Unity 2D movement tutorial. Right now, I have uh, two objects in my scene. Right here, I have a player, which is just in the main camera and a sprite on the player we have a player movement and we actually need to add a few things extra a rigid body and also a collider what collider um nothing needs to be actually be changed on this piece so just in collapse then we have a scene we just simply have have a few ground tiles um, first of all, go under your layers and add a new layer and then call it ground and then add that layer to all these, like this, yes, um, I have a player movement uh, script or a player move script, I'm a player which actually doesn't have anything in it right now so let's just even begin to fill it up and in and all of those other things first of all we will be deciding what direction so we will be deciding the direction by saying Load move then under the update method we'll set move the eagle sing the in the input that Get axis. You can you can decide on what you want. If you want to have an immediate uh, acceleration or action acceleration, I'm just simply going with this. Making the string, timing horizontal. I'm just simply copy pasted it right here, and just like this. Now we have the first like objects on it. Then just make a fixed update function. Go up here. Make another float preferably so you can see it in the editor by either using specifiable field or public. And then you can see move B. Just I'm going to equals this to be um, 35. And our specifiable field load called jump. Jumping speed, just in jump speed, set that to 15. Um, make another serializable field, rigid body, which is in call this uh, RB, and then another one which we will call in and collider. To the collider and call it quarter. We will be leaving the start method and adding a awake. 
awake function. Setting a our rich body to be using get component of course the rigid body and the same with collider with our collider but just simply with collider 2d in it now we actually have everything we need so now on the fixed update We'll be making a if move dot. We'll be looking at the x move equals equals to one. Then I we don't even need a if statement. Sorry, we just even need a. Transform dot translate with this one to be x, y, and z. But well, we need a few values. Times this with your move speed. After that, times that with the time dot that's time now we need a way to jump also but first I do want to check on if this issue works and if it works it is great uh, and if it doesn't yeah. <laughs> um yes. Like this. Now let the unit just load everything in and all this this is just in the press play. And Maximize, and we have movement in our game. Great. Wait, let's just simply tick and add a jump. Um, say if input dot get key down dot key. That key code dot base. Then we will do something. But first of all, we need a boolean. We need to say round. Go on the if say and nearly and round equals equals. Rule. If we didn't have this thing in, we would just seem to have nearly yeah, just seem to jump up every single time. So we don't want to do that. Then set ground to be false. First of all, set the rigid body dot add false. With a new vector two, and we don't want anything of that, so we're just going to add a jump, a jump force. Now with that done, we need to specify what is ground. So we'll say ground equals to the collider. That is touching layers. Then we want to step. Then we want to uh, say what a layer is. So go up, add a layer mask, call it ground, 
background. Ja, hier. Die Kerze. That was actually everything we need. We have also some, a way to move, a way to get input, and also jump, a way to get to the ground. Let's just simply check if this is working. Let you into load for a real quick second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. go on our uh, player movement. Select this, select ground. And press play. So now, if we are going to jump, press space, nothing works. Let's just check our debug log real quick. Our debug log, sorry, but go on to our spectre. And then go on the debug. We have this one right here. And it looks like we don't actually get any upward force movement. Hmm. Well, let's just see what we've done. We've added a force. We actually don't need to add a force. We need to more like say this equals this. this. Um now go back to Unity. And we'll test if this will work. Oh, I'm just going to disable the debug and maximize the screen. And now, if I press space, we'll have a jump. Cause there's one little problem. You can tilt the player like that. I'm just gonna go and stop real quick before there's anything. We could pretty easily do that. Go on our player, the rigid body, tap out right here, and then freeze rotation the set. Now you can expand on this script right here so much, 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 much more. So, yeah, you could, for example, add a dash, you can add a double jump, you could have add anything you actually want to in this script. For an example, let's just simply add a dash to it real quick. Void. Dash. Go on our fixed update. Type in dash. Go up here. Make a specifiable field. Make a float. Dash. Let's 
speed which equals us to about 1500 and then um, say if input that get me down p code dot let's just let me say mouse one and let's just let me say nil this And right now, Visual Studios doesn't like me. <laughs> uh, there, there. This one's zero, so this one's zero. Okay. S H dash speed. Right now, we have just simply added a dash speed. Or dash. Not a very good dash, but a dash nonetheless. Because you really need a like and a check for if the dash is active or not. This is this just let me check it. And Yep, it's working. But that was it for this video. Um, the source code will be linked in will be linked in the description. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good time. Goodbye.